Well, the fight over ZSR 103.5 FM Sports Radio is in full effect. It is alleged that the Utilities Regulation and Competition Authority has seeked legal actions to shut the sports radio station down. Majority shareholders and owners of the sports radio station Cheryl Brennan and Van Ferguson have hired attorney Maria Daxon of Dulwich Law Chambers to represent them as it has been allegedly stated that one of the minor shareholders of the radio station sought out a business partnership with Sebastian Bastian, CEO of Brickell Management Company and Island Luck TV, a subsidiary of Island Luck Web Cafe, who has already signed a business deal with the minor shareholder to own and operate ZSR 103.5 FM radio. Sports Radio CEO Cheryl Brennan tells us more. Good day. I'm Cheryl Brennan, the owner of the license, Sports Radio Navet Broadcasting. I am holding <coughs> this document is showing that all the license spectrum holders, their names are on this. I am Navet. <coughs> this is Navet right here. Navet Broadcasting <coughs> Company and Entertainment Limited. This is here from Urca, Urca's website. The station is legally operated under Navette Broadcasting and Entertainment Company Limited, and since the broadcasting company has been in business, Navette Broadcasting has been paying for the license to operate legally every year. Attorney Maria Daxon. Hey, was going to take this license and do what they have to do, shut them down just like that. Bohemians, we can't continue to let corruption multiply in this country. It needs to stop. And the social media rumor mill has struck yet again this time, a note circulating social media claiming that the Prime Minister and his team had reached an agreement to decriminalize a certain quantity of marijuana. Well, our news team spoke with Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands this afternoon, who immediately shut down those rumors, making it quite clear that the message was false and, quite frankly, it didn't even make sense, he said. Mr. Sands noted the many inconsistencies in the note, the first being that the decision was made on Tuesday night in the House of Assembly. Dr. Sands said that in itself made no sense, seeing that the House doesn't meet on Tuesdays. Furthermore, he said House meetings are public, and a decision like that would have to go through an official bill-passing process. Additionally, the note said a 15 to 0 voting process took place, to which Dr. Sands noted also didn't make sense given the number of MPs that sit in the House of Assembly. Stay with us. We have a look at sports and weather when we return.